Hey YouTube, John here. So I'm three months out from my uh, kidney operations for uh, kidney stones. And the urologist has ordered one of those 24 hour pee tests. And so, much like you, I got on the internet and uh, tried to figure out what that meant. And a lot of people were writing about their concerns of having to store the one gallon jug in the fridge at work and how to deal with that. Well, I want to tell you, that's not the case. So here's what happens. Your urologist puts in an order for a kit, and the kit comes in a box that's about that big. And in the kit is a, uh, an, a jug, and I'll show that to you in a minute, and also a, uh, a small box and two vials. One of the vials contains a preservative, and what you wind up doing is dumping that preservative into the uh, collection bottle and then collecting your urine for the next 24 hours and at the end of that you wind up taking the collection bottle and pouring off about that much into the other little vial and you send that off you don't send the big gallon jug off now as far as the jug a lot of people like I said expressed concern about jackassing that thing into work and having to put it in the uh, in the fridge, I guess, in the uh, the break room or what have you. I'm here to show you that's not the case. This is the way it looks. That's it. With my uh, 3.5 uh, liters of uh, pee in there still. I don't know what to do with it. I'm working that out. Anyway, so this thing, you could probably carry this in a gym bag. In the case of my kit, I didn't need to refrigerate it, which is a big plus. But you could take that in a gym bag to work and uh, nobody would really know what the hell was going on. The one thing I'll say is uh, what I figured out after my first uh, attempt was put the toilet seat down and put the collection jug on top of the toilet seat and pee into, the, uh, into that. The opening, as you can see, is pretty big. So you'd have to worry about... Uh, uh, making a big mess of yourself and the reason I say do it this way is because if you try holding it in one hand and manipulating your junk with the other hand you're gonna wish you had a third hand or you're gonna wind up dribbling all over the joint trust me on this anyway uh, what I did was since I live out in the middle of a uh, bumfuck nowhere in the desert out here the thing is that the uh, the kit requires the sample to be returned within 96 hours and so I had some concern that FedEx might not deliver the overnight package exactly overnight. So I did my test on Sunday and then mailed it out uh, via FedEx on Monday and then logged back into the internet on Tuesday to verify that they had received the sample, and they had. You see, if I had done this test on Friday or even on Thursday and mailed it out Friday, they might not get it on Saturday. They definitely wouldn't get it on Sunday, and there you are Monday, and the test is approaching the 96-hour deadline. So uh, depending upon your location, give some consideration to the uh, the timing of when you're going to send this thing out. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, do me a favor and uh, subscribe. Otherwise, we'll uh, talk to you later. John out. Thanks.